now. I think the first time I had to start over when I first left corporate to start a business. Okay. So that was the first uh, starting over, then did business, things got tricky, lost my home, don't know about that. Shut <laughs> lost everything, had to move in with my parents for a few weeks, then moved in with my sister. So that was starting over in a different, that's how I landed in the mm -hmm. East Rand actually from Pretoria, because I'm originally from Pretoria. Yeah. Moved uh, in with my sister, and then a few years later, then got married. So that was another way of starting over sure. again, right? Mm. And then uh, once married, I decided to go back to corporate. Sure. And then I have now been in, in corporate in the beauty industry since 2018. And uh, two years ago, during COVID, I separated from my husband, sure. fresh in COVID. Mm. And recently finalized the divorce. Sure. And therefore, in the two years that, you know, between um, when COVID started and now, there's been a lot of starting over because leaving the house with just my clothes and uh, my makeup, basically, <laughs> starting over. You know, those are the kind of things that as much as starting over is not fun, but things are better the second time around if your mindset is correct. And as you're talking about starting over, I'm thinking about starting over can be a, a lot. It's not only about you, like uh, divorcing, getting into a new chapter, like now you are alone and you wanna live. Starting over can be a lot because, like, some other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For 75 people. Yeah. Which brand was it? No, it was Oh. 
Oh, lovely. Morning, babe. So I'm about to exercise, right? Morning. It is half past five right now. Look how bloated I am. Yo, 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 yo. I haven't been eating well. And my body is just not happy with me. So today I'm going to start my OMAD. So my one meal a day. Fast because I think that's going to be the only way. I'm really struggling with my weight lately. Not because I don't know what to do, but I'm doing all the things that I shouldn't be doing. I haven't made my bed yet, anyway. So yeah, join me. I'll show you what I eat and how I do everything. Cool stuff. Yeah, it's me. In case you think I'm lying to you guys, it is me. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to leave the house. This is how I look for work, just these pants, as you can see. So, very chilled. And yeah, I look cute, no issues show you what fragrance i've got today let's see if i can show you guys there we go jomalon jasmine sun black and marigold and i'm ready for the day cool stuff hey, see babe. you later. so i was gonna take you through me making this meal but i think it's so simple it's basically roasted vegetables and uh roasted chicken and i've just added evil as well so that is my first meal of the day I just had two coffees in the morning and um, also had uh, whispers. I had a few leftover whispers. I know that's not healthy. So I had that in there for the rest of the day. I had nothing and now having this. So hopefully I keep it up for the rest of the week and then I'll report on how it is going. Hello. Hello, babe. Uh, it's another day in my vlog. Baby girl's looking cute. I have a very busy day today. I'm going to Rose Bank, closing one of my brands. So it's going to be a whole day of a lot of manual labor and everything is just manual. It's a process. So I hope it goes faster than I anticipate it to be so that, you know, my day does not drag because there's other things to do. But anyway, it is what it is. I wanted to share something with you guys today about if you are a contact lens wearer. I saw at Clix yesterday, they have their own brand of contact lens solution and it's quite cheap it's only 88 rand and then what else uh which is cheaper than most brands most brands for this size 360 it's about 120 160 and above depending on the brand so i tried it out last night and my contact lenses feel fine my eyes are good so i thought i should put you guys on let us spend less money <laughs> where possible because it's tricky right now I'm going to show you my outfit just now, but in the meantime, you can see what fragrance I am wearing. It is Starlight Shimmer Michael Kors. It's really lovely, lovely. Let me just actually put some more on. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you'll have a great day. There's something I wanted to chat to you guys about, but I think I'll chat to you guys later if I'm still in the mood. Something deep and serious. Anyway, let me show you what I'm wearing. So this is my outfit um yeah i've never actually done this combination so the shoes and the polo neck i know it's now getting warm but this is a very light material so i figured it will work i like i like it it's very practical but also impactful because then i still look cute okay have an awesome day i'll chat to you later It's just outside here. Yeah. Okay, love. Will you tap? Oh, it's already recording. It's yeah. Oh, but it's only been recording for two seconds. So you just need to cut out that first part. But you still busy talking. Oops. Oh, this is my car. It doesn't seem like it opens. <laughs> <laughs> Your car. Oh, it's blue. <laughs>
Okay, so how it works is uh, it reverse parks, ne? Okay. So I'm gonna go self parking and then it will always search on the left hand side. It's the safe side in South Africa. So I'm gonna go right. Okay, let's see. I don't think we've got enough space here, but let's, let's just try. You know, around this time, all the cars are gone, so no. we would have tried it there in the front. Okay. Um, so we don't want the one this one. This is small. Let's see. Okay, it'll take us to that big space, but this will probably stay here. Now, the space is too small. Okay, let's, let's, let's look for another space. space between the Jetta and the silver car. <laughs> and what do you do with your legs? Do you... I just control the speed. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. So cool. So that's how it works. Welcome to another day in my vlog. It's the last day of the vlog. Um, this is what I'm wearing to work. I'm going to the office in Kailami. Long day ahead. Um, and it's quite chilly today. So that's why I am dressed this warm. We have a wellness day. But I think that will fall under um, my um, next vlog. And then everything else. And later on, I'll also be chatting to you guys. As you've seen, I got a car so we'll talk about that later when i come back from work because i'm gonna run late right now so yeah that's basically how your girl is looking and then this is the fragrance that i'm wearing today beautiful magnolia intense by Estee Lauder. recently started using it and i like it it just makes me smell grown up but without too much effort anyway let me show you how i'm looking with my face on as well welcome back yo 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 i'm so tired but anyway um i know i was gonna do a video about the car so i don't know if i should do it now make sure during my lunch break working from home it's that time of the month in terms of retail where i have to do payroll so time sheets and commissions it's it's a lot i'm so overwhelmed but anyway i need to go to the divorce court to get my decree of divorce because when i bought the car I'm still showing as married at home affairs, so I need to show them that. I went this morning and they told me that the person who does that has gone to the family court, which is a few streets away, and they don't know where they're coming back. So I'm taking my luck, uh, trying my luck to go there and hopefully 
they're not on lunch or something cute anyway i can't tell you how obsessed i am with this car about this car i love it like if i could sleep in here i definitely would the only thing about this car i don't have a place where i can put my camera which is not a bad thing it's just that when i try to multitask without having to look at the camera when i'm driving it's great but so i guess no longer doing that but yeah guys i'm so happy you know um sure you know when i i got the call on monday that my uh financing had been approved which is another story maybe i'll talk about it later i wasn't happy because the rate is very high and there's a whole story behind that because i had a debt before which i closed a year ago so i'd been debt free for a year and then so i'm building up my credit score again after being in debt due to uh, a business loan that i took many years ago so i just love the car it's a work of art just it's beautiful to watch like from outside to look at driving it is so comfortable like i'm shocked how happy i am because monday i was so sad I remember sending a whole text to my sister because um yeah i was really feeling overwhelmed and then when on tuesday i had to go and fetch the car it was really great but now that i've been driving i make any excuse to go and drive i still have my old car but I'm loving this baby so much so i'm so happy yeah so i hope when i get to the divorce court the person who issues the decrees is there i was supposed to fetch it a week after my divorce was finalized which was in july but i mean whatever i didn't i was like when i i'll go and i go because i didn't need it but here we are now i need to do it so anyway let's go <laughs> So this is what I got from Nando's pulled chicken and it's the hot flavor. So let's see. Doesn't look exciting. This is really boring, but I know it's going to taste amazing. I know I am on intermittent fasting, but today I'm going to eat on lunchtime because I'm stressed. <laughs> I need to get the work out of the way. So that's what I'm doing now. But yeah, it's yummy. And then after that, I'll go back to work. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb well, that, I just closed this vlog So yes, I went to the divorce court and I got the decrees So it's all here Um, What else did I do? Oh yeah, so the reason I actually wanted to close this vlog is to tell you what I've been trying to tell you about the whole car situation right so i was due for a new car um and only end of september would i be due but i started shopping on friday last week i went to the first deal i just by chance i went to um bmw i had the most amazing experience uh tried the x1 as well as the one series ah uh, stunning the technology in the car just the the beauty of the cars was just stunning and i was just treated so well they made coffee and gave me a muffin just nice things you know what i'm saying and yeah when they came to the price i was like hmm, exciting you know whatever <laughs> and then after that i went to vw my most trusted brand i i don't i don't think i love vw vw likes me 
In the five cars that I've driven since being a driver, four of them have been VW. So, yeah, it's weird. I think when we used to have company cars, I got into the vibe of VWs and it's just been that thing. And now that we buy our own cars, it's still like a thing. And they're a good car and in a more affordable price range than some of the cars, you know, whatever. Anyway, so um, then after I went to, to VW, the, late, the guy showed me everything. And, you know, then I went for a test drive with the car that I'm currently driving and I enjoyed it. And actually never saw it as my potential car, but I, the shape and how it is was in that range that I was looking for. Anyway, so I enjoyed it and I, I fell in love, all right? No problem. Then I had to send through all my documents so that I could, you know, um, go through the financing application. So Monday, after I've sent everything, the guy calls me to say, okay, only one bank, um, you know, uh, what's the word, accepted my application, the rest declined because uh, a few years ago, I took a business uh, loan and at the time the business wasn't doing well. There you was know, so much happened during that time in my life where I had so much loss, you know, financially and it dented my credit record from someone who had like a squeaky clean credit record. I was great with payments and everything like that. That happened and all things went bad. And then I finally finished paying off the debt last year, September. It was actually a gift to myself. And I had been debt free from that time in September till now. So now I had this anxiety that, oh my God, you know, going through the process. I hate that process where you have to, someone else has to approve of you. I hate that process. It gives me so much anxiety. And obviously in this case, because I've been rejected before with financial services, I had that anxiety. So when they came back and it was one who, who, who accepted, but the rate was so high because they still seeing me as a risk. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like so sad. I remember for the rest of the day, I texted my sister um, to say what was happening and how I was feeling because the rate is so high. You know, I want to get back, in, back into the system, but with the rate so high, I don't know, you know, and the thought that now I'm going to have to pay these installments and da, 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 I was just freaking out. And then after I sent it a few minutes later, because she didn't respond immediately, I deleted it. And then immediately said, why are you deleting? I was busy in the meeting. Then I'm like, relax. Just said a voice note, told her how I was feeling and she wanted to talk to me. I'm like, no, I'm good. Because when I'm feeling like that and feeling drained because I've been in my head and emotions for so long, sometimes I don't have the energy to talk, you know, and everything like that. What's happening to the lighting? Just hold Such on. a thing as too much light. I think that's exactly what I'm experiencing now. Anyway, so I went through that, went to sleep with a heart, so hot and I was like, whatever. And then in the morning, I called the guy and said, okay, I'll accept the deal because also he was very pushy and um he said there was somebody else was looking for a car which i believe but i also was like oh my god you know sales people i know how we roll <laughs> and everything so um then i said no i'll make my decision by friday because they were already sending me like um insurance people and everything like that so i was like no hold on i'll do it by friday and then that's when the the sales uh, rep called me to say, you know, there's somebody else, and I told them to hold off. So let me know if you're not doing this at all. And I was like, you know what? I don't. If I I I I decline this, I'm gonna have to go through that process again, where you know I'll have to look for another car. And the banks, I'm just not emotionally fit for stuff like that. Not yet, anyway. So I accepted, and then I was like, okay, so it's happening. And I was willing to just go and collect the car on Friday. And he was like, no, do it now because Friday is a new month. I was like, oh my God. Then he wanted me to fetch it on Wednesday. I didn't have time. So I went on Tuesday to fetch it. So I told my niece and nephew and they came over and then we drove uh, to the dealership. And it's just been exciting. I fell in love with the car more than I thought I would. Like, like I said earlier, if I could sleep in it the way I'm enjoying it so much, <laughs> I would, you know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't driven my old car since then. I mean, it's not an old car, it's like two years old, uh, but it's not as beautiful and comfortable as this one. And I'm just excited for the journey ahead. And it made me realize, you know, how we have so many fears as people, you know, things, whenever you've been hurt or been through something that traumatized you, when you are in a situation that reminds you of that situation, sometimes you find yourself acting like it's the end of the world because those emotions just come back and I think that's what I was going through and 
just having fear as well about okay this is a bigger installment than what i was praying for am i going to be able to afford it then i checked yes i can afford it it might mean tightening my budget a little bit more or really opening my eyes to more possibilities of other incomes you know what i'm saying so i can still continue with my lifestyle and even a better one you know and everything like that so that's basically it but i should tell you guys about that i thought i would be emotional but clearly it's worn off and this day has been long enough so whatever thank you so much for watching if you watched this far oh i've got an announcement so I asked in my previous vlog, uh, vlog about the um, people to uh, enter the competition or, you know, the giveaway. And yeah, you guys, your responses were so beautiful about why you watch this uh, channel. For some, it's just a matter of support, a, 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 a small YouTuber. Others, it's because you were looking for somebody who is in the age group of 40 plus, which made me so happy because i really enjoy creating content in my own way but also pay, uh, bearing in mind that i am plus 40 and i want people in my age group to come here and enjoy this content obviously if you're younger or older than me hey we're all welcome here but i just wanted to create a space for people who are in their 40s and can relate to someone like me who is single who does not have children who is career, career driven who is all things different things you know what i'm saying a little bit of whether you're a mom or single or whatever there must be something that you might be able to relate to where i am concerned so that is that so the person that who's going to win the giveaway that i showed you in my last vlog is um what's her name oh it's on my phone i'm recording my phone what it's but it's life with miss malaika life with miss malaika i'll put her name down here and also um she follows me on instagram as well what really touched me besides her writing why she follows me she also posted on her instagram stories for people to you know be able to view my channel so she even put the link there and everything and that really touched me because it helps us grow when you guys share our 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 um, our work it's all good for you to see this but if you're sharing it then the more people are able to come to my channel and the more we grow and the greater this content can be or whatever so thank you so much that's it from me i feel like this has been a messy vlog but that's life haste hey? things don't always go according to plan things are not always smooth things sometimes are all over the place and that's it my name is tk shangwani thank you so much for watching Lie like a rat, but take your stuff